Hi, my name is Mike Greiner. I'm a bankruptcy attorney here with a financial law group located in Warren, Michigan. Our website is financiallawgroup.com and my phone number is 586-693-2000. And I'm here to talk to you today about judgments and their dischargeability in bankruptcy. Many people are concerned when they get sued as to what will happen if the creditor gets a judgment against them. Judgments are court orders that entitle a creditor to collect from you. That's what they can use then to garnish your wages or to, or to garnish your bank accounts or, or uh, ta state tax refunds or to go and seize other assets from you. Um, until they get a judgment, the creditor is actually not entitled to do that unless they have a specific lien against uh, an asset of yours, like with a mortgage or with a car loan. But uh, once they get that judgment, then they are entitled to do those things. Now, some people may think that once they have the judgment that you can no longer file bankruptcy and get rid of it, and that is not the case. Bankruptcy gets rid of most judgments, whether they've been entered or not. Um, there are some exceptions to that. For example, if there's been fraud that was alleged, and if fraud has been proven against you, then that might not be a dischargeable debt. I'll tell you the best way to find out about whether a debt is dischargeable or not is set up an appointment with me. I do have free consultations. I'd be happy to meet with you personally to discuss these matters and others. My phone number is 586-693-2000.